British safety standards uh, for sleeping products, it's really important that you look at all the different um, safety standards. Uh, these are important because they tell you that it's fire retardant and that it's well made and not going to fall apart. But it's important also when you look at uh, the product that nothing has been added to it, fur or gems, to make it look nice, but then actually that reduces its safety. And although British um, safety standards, which all have numbers which you can um, see in the accompanying um, information to this video, uh, have numbers and uh, it's important to realise that this tells you that the product is safe, but it doesn't protect you or prevent um, cot death. That is something that has to be as part of a whole package of how your baby sleeps, that you use all the, um, you follow the instructions, you don't make adaptations, put in um, uh, furry blankets or cot bumpers, for instance. So it's important when you, when you look at what you're buying that you follow the instructions, but also that it, it adheres to British safety standards. For instance, now, um, the new uh, cribs that go next to your bed you used to be able to drop them all the way down, but that's no longer legal, so they've changed them. So there are always adaptations, so please make sure that you use the most up-to-date um, safety standards. And again, that will be in the notes accompanying this, so it'll be the most up-to-date information available. If you're buying stuff secondhand, make sure that it's got British safety standards um, in, in as part of the product, that it's smoke free, that it's pet free and nothing has been done to alter um, the product from what it was supposed to look like originally. Important you follow these, um, these um, helpful pointers to make your baby sleep as safe as is possible. If you found this useful please do um, subscribe to my YouTube channel.